The Shaolin Temple is located in Honan Province, situated in the Sungsan Mountain Range. It was built in the Wei Dynasty in 495 AD on 100 acres of land donated by Emperor Sui Van Di as an indication of his appreciation of the monks' support of his regime. Part of the monastery was constructed under the direction of the famous Indian monk Damo almost 1500 years ago. Damo's purpose was to create a center for the spread of the Buddhist religion. He is given credit for being the person who brought Buddhism to China from India. It is the basic tenet of this form of Buddhism that through internal meditation, immortality can be achieved. Above the entrance to the monastery, the name of the temple was done in exquisite calligraphy by Kong Shi, a 19th century emperor of China. The name of the Shaolin Temple is formed by three Chinese characters, Chao, Lin, Tzu. Shao comes from the location of the Sungsan Mountains. Lin comes from the Chinese word for tree, and Tzu is the word for temple. So in English, the translation of Shaolin Tzu would be the temple in the forest on the Sungsan Mountain. The Shaolin Temple is viewed by the Chinese as the birthplace of all Kung Fu. In the 1500 year history of the temple, the interest in Buddhism has fluctuated. In the Tang Dynasty, 1300 years ago, 2,000 monks were in attendance. Today, the Shaolin Temple has a population of only 80 monks. This stonecutter works today as his ancestors did thousands of years ago, using the traditional methods to restore the original temple site. The first Shaolin Temple was destroyed by fire during the Qing Dynasty. Over the centuries, the temple was repeatedly destroyed and rebuilt due to the political and secular affiliations of the abbots to the emperors and warlords of the region. These alliances also resulted in the commingling of different techniques by those who came to the temple seeking political sanctuary or martial arts skills. Su, Da, Jing, Gan are the four gods that protect the Shaolin Temple from evil spirits. George Xu, the executive advisor to the United States martial arts team, was able to arrange an audience with the abbot of the Shaolin Temple, his number one student, and an elderly senior monk to discuss the history of Kung Fu as it related to the temple. The abbot of the temple, who is wearing a saffron-colored robe and sitting in the center, is 78 years old. He has been a monk at the Shaolin Temple for 70 years. Master So Se Cho performs the Chong Mo fist set from the Korean Taekwondo system.
This monk is demonstrating the Da Hung system. In English, Da Hung means big red fist. The meaning of this is that as he punched you, the red would come out. The red they referred to was the opponent's blood. When Da Mo made his visit to the temple, he found the monks in poor physical condition. He sat in meditation for nine years facing a wall. It is said that his chi was so strong that the wall is discolored and remains so till this day as a result of the energy directed on the place where his shadow fell. As a result of his meditation, he wrote the Yi Kin King a group of exercises used to this day by these monks to increase their energy and circulation. He also instructed them in the 18 Buddha Lohan palm techniques and Shi Sui Jing massage. We have slowed this set to half speed to observe more easily the fluidity and flexibility of this monk's performance. The temple is a community in which each monk has his particular function, which is determined by his own nature. Some will be cooks, others gardeners, or teachers of Buddhist philosophy or the martial arts. Each performs the duty to which he is best suited, as well as participating in the whole. The visitors, and especially the monks at the temples, seem to really enjoy the sparring match put on by the American team. Going to the Shaolin Temple is the dream for many martial artists. To me, it was my trip to Mecca. To also have the rare opportunity to perform for the most senior monks was a highlight of my life. You know, for years, looking at the Kung Fu movies and reading about uh, uh, China and the Shaolin Temple. You know, I, I wondered would I ever get to see, you know, one of these temples or the Shaolin Temple as the way it was portrayed in the book. So that was just, uh, that was one of my highlights and being able to see the monks perform and uh, that, that's something, a, very, a rarity. Tourists were constantly r rolling through this place. But you know, would, you know something about uh -huh. going over to the Shaolin Temple, we could have done that on our own, we wouldn't have been able to see what, or, or had the opportunity to actually exchange the communication in the chambers, hadn't it been exactly. for the, our host. Exactly. I mean, that, that is prime. That is something that, it's not gonna exactly. go away. Just seeing the monks, many people, uh, they, they, thousands of tourists go through there uh, weekly, and they never get to see the monks, let alone see them perform, you know, to have the monks actually or perform. Or have the opportunity to, uh, to perform for them too. Right, exactly. So that was, uh, that was, that was definitely a highlight because I personally just wanted to visit the Shaolin Temple <laughs> to be able to see the performance, to have them actually exchange with me and give me an opportunity to perform for them. That was, uh, that was exciting. One of the most famous treasures of the Shaolin Temple is called the Wuxing Chuan, or the Five Animal Fists. Each Chuan was named after the animal best exemplifying its attributes. Each originally had only six postures. At the present time, however, there are over a hundred. Having mastered these five Chuan, many variations can be developed. The original Chuan are Dragon, for training attention and spirit and emphasizing lightness and change. Tiger, strengthening the bones. Leopard, practicing the application of force. The snake, practicing inner breathing, becoming sensitive and active. And the crane, for training concentration, stability, and accuracy.
Here Master Cho demonstrates some breaking techniques. First his hands and then his feet. These triple kiln bricks are three times as strong as American red bricks. This monk is demonstrating the Damo cane set. Individual monks that wish to specialize in Kung Fu training must pass rigorous standards. This training consists of learning 24 open hand sets, 22 staff, 15 spear, 18 broadsword, an 11 double-edged sword. 28 special weapons, as well as pressure point and joint locking techniques. An extremely proficient student might then be invited to study the Lo Han Fist, which is comprised of 18 sets, three sections each. Each set has a different flavor, such as the angry set, the sleepy set, and the drunken set. The drunken set is one of the most difficult because it requires internal body conditioning to protect against the elaborate gymnastic falls required by the style. When the monks mastered these forms, they were allowed to choose one of 72 techniques in which to become proficient. This is a unique type of highly specialized Kung Fu. Some examples are iron body, iron groin, or standing on one finger. After the demonstration, we asked the monk if he could show us the famous Shaolin training hall. This building is over a thousand years old and the depressions in the floor are made as a result of thousands of monks practicing their various martial arts forms over a period of hundreds of years. year history. Through the country's sweeping political and sociological changes, the one thing that has been consistently maintained at this temple is its devotion to the high quality and secret wisdom of its Kung Fu. As a result, there can be no doubt that this is an incredible repository of martial arts history and expertise. This is the home, the primary source of all martial arts.